Thanks so much for checking out this three-part video series on love attraction. And thank you so much for all of the questions and comments on the last one. Of course, if you didn't see the first video in this series, you might want to check it out before diving into this one. To watch the last video in this series, make sure to click the link below in the description. This video series is all about learning that you can attract love with the law of attraction. In this video series, we're discussing how limiting beliefs may have been interfering with your ability to attract love in the past. And we're also talking about how you can boost optimism so you can really believe that you can use the law of attraction effectively to find love, be it a soulmate or a twin flame, be it somebody new or be it somebody specific. Again, my name is Andrea Shulman and I work worldwide as a law of attraction coach and educator. I'm also the founder of a law of attraction resource website called raiseyourvibrationtoday.com and there's a good chance that you've seen some of my work before because much of my work has been published on some of today's top consciousness websites and magazines. In the last video, we talked a lot about clearing the negative clutter of your expectations about love and relationships. And this is a really crucial first step in attracting love with the law of attraction. With the law of attraction, you get what you expect and believe. So if you have negative expectations about love, they're going to play out. Now, this is why a lot of people often fail when they first try to use the law of attraction to attract love, because if you haven't cleared out the limiting beliefs, you'll either find yourself unable to attract love, or you'll find yourself as a magnet for people and relationships that are either dysfunctional or unfulfilling. In this video, we're going to take this discussion a step further, and I'm going to teach you an easy to use law of attraction trick you can use to get positive reactions out of potential love interests. This trick is really effective in getting you to use your focus and expectations to get the reactions out of people that you want. And it's a trick you can start using today. Using this technique will show you that not only can you get positive reactions out of people, but that you can depend on the law of attraction to help you attract and keep love. As we discussed in the last video, believing in the process is really important. And this technique will really help you develop faith in your power to create desired results on purpose with the law of attraction. To begin, have you ever noticed how sometimes you just don't get the reactions out of people that you want? For example, maybe a friend or a relative is being unkind to you, or maybe somebody you used to be in a relationship with is now very distant and cold to you, or maybe someone you're attracted to doesn't really know that you exist or doesn't give you the time of day. Have you ever had something like that happen before? Well, negative reactions from people all boil back down to expectations because the law, with the law of attraction, we get what we expect out of people. However, getting a positive reaction is something that can be fairly easy to do. Getting positive reactions out of people is all about placing positive focus on those people when we're interacting with them. For example, if you're around somebody and you're thinking good thoughts about them and being very kind to them, they're much more likely to be warm and inviting back to you. However, if you're focused on somebody and you're thinking about how much you don't like them or all the things that they do wrong, they're much more likely to clamp up and be cold towards you. And this has everything to do with your expectations. You're getting what you expect out of the person that you interact with. So how do you focus on people in a positive way to get a positive reaction out of them. If you're not quite sure if they like you and you're not quite sure if they would be interested in you or even, even if you think that maybe they don't like you or they're not interested in you. Well, this is actually something fairly simple to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Before I share this technique with you, I wanna give you a quick disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a technique to get positive reactions out of potential love interests but it is well advised that before you try this technique out on a potential love interest, that you first practice with strangers. 
Now it's important to practice with strangers because with strangers, we don't have a lot of preconceived notions and beliefs about those people. We don't know if they like us or not. So we don't really go into the interaction thinking that the person isn't gonna like us or thinking that there's gonna be a reason for us to be worried. So practice this technique out on strangers first. And it's something you're gonna see some real magic with. And once you start seeing the magic and you're having regular success with it, then you can start practicing this on people that are closer and closer to you. So after it works with strangers, then move it to people you know, like friends and family and coworkers and neighbors. And after you've had some success with that, then take this technique and use it on potential love interests. And the reason why is that when we try to use this on potential love interests right out of the gate, sometimes it can be hard to shake off those negative expectations, especially if we don't know that the trick works. But once you know for sure that this trick works and you see it with regularity, you're going to have a lot of confidence with it and you're going to know that you can use it with success on the people that you like and would like to have a romantic partnership with. Okay, so here's the technique. The way it works is that you find somebody to interact with. And again, at first, we're going to work with strangers but we're gonna work our way up to love interest. So at first you're gonna pick a stranger, maybe a cashier, maybe a server, maybe someone you just meet on the street, but someone you don't really know. You're gonna pick the person. And in your mind, I want you to focus on that person and tell yourself that it's your intention to make that person a little bit happier today. That's your only intention. I wanna make you a little bit happier today. And you can say something to yourself like, I want to use my positive focus to make this person a little bit happier. I want to use my positive focus to make this person a little bit happier. Make that your intention. Now, after you've made that intention, I want you to reach for reasons to like and appreciate that person. So it could be that the cashier has a pretty necklace on, or it could be that you like the server's shoes. Or it could be that the person looks like a nice person. They remind you about somebody that you like. But just keep reaching for reasons to like that person. And you just keep doing that until the person cracks a smile or says something nice to you or laughs or gives you a sign that your positive focus elevated their mood. And now they're a little bit happier and they're shining that happiness back on you. The trick with this technique has everything to do with your intention. Now, your sole intention and everything that you do should be about elevating the other person's mood through your positive focus. So you don't wanna be focused on trying to get the person to like you or trying to get them to do anything specific. All you're trying to do is appreciate them and help them feel better. Okay, that's all you're doing. How they reflect that back to you is totally up to them because we don't wanna place limitations on how this unfolds. All we're trying to do is elicit some kind of positive reaction. Let that person decide how they react back to you and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Sometimes people ask me, do I have to verbalize this? Do I have to tell them the things that I appreciate about them? And the truth is, no, you do not. And actually, if you don't say anything, I think it's a more powerful exercise because it really shows you that just through the power of your focus, you got someone to give you a positive reaction. However, if you're in an interaction with somebody and it seems like the natural thing to do, you know, it just feels like the right thing to say, oh, you know, I like that necklace that you're wearing. Go ahead and say that. But certainly you wanna avoid rattling off all of those reasons that you appreciate them because that would be kind of weird, you know? <laughs> like, I like your necklace, you're pretty, I like your hair. I'm glad that you're, you know, doing such a nice job, blah, 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 blah. That would get a little awkward. So if you are going to say something, limit what you say. But remember, the less you say, the more powerful this exercise is. All you're really doing is trying to shine your energy on them. That's it. And you don't need words to do that. See, the truth of the matter is you've absolutely seen this phenomenon before. For instance, if you were to tell me that you like this shirt, I'd probably light up in front of you and smile a little bit more and be a little bit more friendly to you. If on the opposite side of things, you told me how much you hated me, I'd probably clamp up and not be so nice back to you. We all kind of understand how the way we talk to people can affect how they react to us. 
However, it isn't really the words and the compliments that are creating the reaction. Really, it's about the expectation and the focus. If you focus on somebody with positive intention and positive focus, they must respond back in a way that mirrors how you feel. So if you're shining a light on someone that says, I really like you, they have to behave in a way that would make you feel like you still like them. That's the law of attraction. You get what you expect and focus on. So if you're focused on how much you like someone, even if you don't say a word, that person is gonna behave back to you in a way that you will like. That's just how it works. Here's a way that you can get really good at this technique and you can really practice this, this skill and fine tune it and really learn how to even turn around how someone feels about you. Sometimes I practice this trick on cashiers or servers or people that are working who look frustrated or stressed. So let's say that I'm going to get coffee from the coffee shop and the guy behind the counter looks really flustered and stressed out and the people in front of me are being rude to him and you can tell he's just not having a good day. And so that person's already emitting kind of a negative reaction. When that happens, I use that as, as an opportunity to practice this skill and get better and better about shifting reactions. So when I step up to the counter, I'll tell, I'll tell myself, okay, it's my, it's my intention to make you feel a little bit better through the power of my focus. And then I'll sit there and do everything that I can to shine a light on that person and get them to come back to the light. So, you know, I might say something like, wow, it, it really looks like this guy is working pretty hard. I like that people, you know, like him are trying and they're trying to work hard. And I can see that he's doing his best to keep his cool. And, and I really think that that's admirable. And, you know, I'm glad that he's here because I really wanted to get my coffee today. So I'm glad there's someone here you know, to get me my coffee and to help me out with this part of my day. And, and you know, look at how he looks. He looks like he keeps himself together pretty good. And he looks like he might be a really nice guy. And I just keep running with thoughts like that. I just keep reaching as much as I can to see the positive in that person in front of me. And I cannot tell you the dramatic results that I have gotten with this. I have seen dozens of clerks, like in the middle of being frantic, suddenly just look up from the cashier and crack a smile at me or start a pleasant conversation or even compliment me. You know, like hand me my coffee and say, here you go, beautiful, have a great day. You know, and just a second ago, they were totally frustrated, totally overwhelmed, but just shining that positive focus on them without even saying anything made their day a little bit better and they, sh they shined that feeling right back on me. The reason why this technique is so effective and it can be effective on strangers, strangers who are upset, family members, coworkers, and ultimately the people that you really like and you want them to treat you kindly because you, you're attracted to them. The reason why it works is that it helps you direct your focus in a very positive way by taking you out of the equation and taking your limiting beliefs out of the equation. So often when we interact with people, we're really worried about how they're gonna respond to us. So we're thinking, oh, are you gonna like me? Uh, you know, how are you gonna treat me? Are you gonna be respectful of me? And we kind of amplify out worry and negative expectation, and then the person responds by giving us reasons to feel that way. But when we take ourselves out of the equation and we just focus on the person, we make it our goal, I, I'm not really important here, I wanna shine my light on you and make you feel a little bit better then all of those limiting beliefs fly out the window. And now all you're focusing on is reason to, reasons to like that person. And if that's all you're focused on, the law of attraction must give you back more reasons for you to like that person. That's the way that it works. So by directing your focus only on the things that you like and appreciate, you guarantee that that person is going to respond back to you in a way that's very pleasing to you. Ultimately, this is a skill you want to transfer over to your love life as soon as you're comfortable with it. And the reason why is that once you're able to use this and get, you know, a smile or a laugh or a wink or a compliment or anything nice out of the people that you like and find attractive, once you can do that, it really gives you the belief and the confidence that you can close the deal on that relationship or on any relationship. And it really helps you harness the knowledge and the belief that you've got what it takes to attract love. This is such a valuable skill that I highly advise that you start working on it right now. Start working on it today. 
I've got the next video in this series coming up in just a couple of days. And in this next video, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between attracting, attracting someone specific, like an ex or someone you've had your eye on, versus attracting someone new that you don't know who they are, but you want them to have all the right characteristics. And I get asked a lot of questions about those two particular topics, and I wanna make sure to answer all of those questions. In the next video, I'm also gonna give you some signs and signals that you are on the right path and walking your way towards a fulfilling and successful love life with the law of attraction. So definitely make sure to keep your eyes peeled for the next video, because I know you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching the second video in this series on love attraction. Now, I would love to hear what you think about this topic, this video, and the technique that I presented in this video. So please shoot me a comment or a question below and let me know what you think. I read all of the comments and I do my best to respond to each of them personally. So please feel free to get in touch, even if you'd like to do it anonymously. But anyway, thanks again for watching this video and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.